protests. I'm seeing the uh, new federal state of China everywhere. I'm seeing them at protests. I'm seeing them at rallies. I'm seeing them everywhere that matters. How and what ways have you seen the CCP's influence on the young people here? I'd say the biggest one, probably the most problematic, is the fact that TikTok is the most popular social media app mm. among young people here. It's quite concerning that the CCP has played its role in reducing the attention spans of American youth, mm -hmm. of promoting social media content that favors its own agenda. You can see this. They have two different versions of the app, one in China. I forget the name of it. Douyin. Douyin yeah, in called, China. Yeah. And then they have the more degenerate one, TikTok, in the mm -hmm. United States because they want to harm our youth. I also see it in the Chinese manufacturing and shipping of fentanyl to Mexican cartels that takes advantage yeah. of our disadvantaged southern border in order to ship across and damage our youth and younger generations with the importation of extremely powerful foreign drugs. And this is what the CCP have been planning for years. They have been infiltrating the American system, infiltrating the media, the 3F plan. They have already been establishing to uh, foment the chaos, foment destruction, and foment uh, people to become not aware of what's going on in the world. Do you think there are many young people aware of what the CCP is doing? It's interesting in America. There was a period when everyone was aware, and as the CCP's power grew, mm. that, infl that awareness reduced. But at this point, partially and thanks to your initiative, but partially thanks to just general cultural awareness, the narrative is collapsing. The Chinese communist elite that has compromised themselves to a globalist force that wants to reduce the entirety of humanity from its sovereignty is part of an order that is dying. And there is a new national order that is rising around the world, in China, in the United States, and everywhere else, that recognizes these as one and the same enemy. And they recognize that the Chinese Communist Party, mm. not the Chinese, we love the Chinese, the Chinese Communist Party as an extension of that enemy.